Here we are at the new location. We uh, had to move because we had the police visit and we were advised that we were sleeping within city limits in a vehicle. I'm not sure the exact ordinance. I don't think the police are exact are sure of the exact ordinance. I didn't test it. Yeah, this is nice. There's water here even. Is the creek close? There is. There's a creek like over there someplace. Nice. I went for a walk. Rick Very could probably cool. tell you better than me. Okay. So you can do creek baths and stuff. You can do creek baths and stuff. I am. Have y'all been drinking it? Probably not. I haven't been drinking I'll it. I'll drink it. I got water. There's water here if you need some. <laughs> Tamara hasn't got out of her car. I was saying, hang on, I got to get my battery. Don't get out. Don't get out. <laughs> so we're at the new location. We got booted out of the other one. We came up into the mountains. We've, it's... Um, it's a higher elevation. It's a lot more pleasant of a spot, actually. And this is Tamara just rolled in. She hasn't seen anything yet. There's been some progress on the van that didn't get filmed, or on the bus that didn't get filmed. So we're gonna kill two birds with one stone and let Tamara see it. It's like a semi-reveal, you know. Gonna, we're gonna let you see me seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like 90% done. So here we go. <laughs> Less mosquitoes here too, yeah? Yes, there are. Way less mosquitoes. Savannah, are you going to chill there? Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, I got a bed. Yeah, there's no reason why you can't sleep in it tonight. There's what? There's no reason why you can't sleep in it tonight. Oh, I'll break it in. Yeah, there okay. you go. So, uh, you want to go around and head up the stairs? Hey guys. Knock, knock. No, I'll just set it back up over there. Oh my goodness, it's a home. How did you guys do this? It's been like a week. Yeah, it How was the cops thinking? that came by that did it really. They, oh they, really, they, they jumped in and gave a hand? Oh, that's so awesome. They're like, before you go, let's help you out. Yeah. Hey, you have a light in the shower. How about that? Oh my goodness, you need a light in the shower. And your lights are wired off of the uh, off of the uh, starter battery and onto the coach battery. I don't know what that means. It means that you can leave the lights on without killing your battery to be able to start your car. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. So it goes on solar? Yeah, those are solar Nicky lights baby, now. Baby, Nicky, baby. That's awesome. But these are all the same lights that were up before, right? Yes. Oh, okay. You guys did some more painting yeah. too. So did some more painting and did some more wiring. Still have some more wiring to do. Oh, cool. It's so legitimate. Try those switches and see what happens. Oh my goodness. You have an exhaust fan. <laughs> that is Who has an exhaust fan in a schoolie? Uh, seriously, I do. <laughs> There's the fan. Oh my gosh, and that's a perfect spot for it too. There you go. Oh, that is so cool. And then this will, so I don't know how these work. Like this will kind of climate control the whole thing, right? Well, you can use it to <laughs> draw air in or draw air out through windows. Oh, that is perfect. And I can have passengers and like I can yeah. sit just taking it all in. This is so amazing. <gasps> Look at the wall. It looks There's so the good. Wall. Yep. Here, show the wall. That looks so nice. And I helped a little. So on this <laughs> we have some are. footage. That's so good. Nice guys. Oh, what is she saying? She wants to be Oh my goodness. I neglected. That is the cutest thing. You never came in. You just decided not to again. Hey everybody, we're uh, close to the end of this uh, schoolie build for Tamara and I went down today underneath the bus to run some electrical for her lights and there was some discussion early on about these automatic chains and should they come or should they go or should they stay or should they go and I got a lot of responses that says leave the chains they're expensive and my response to that was if you're out on forest roads or you're out on rough roads I'm afraid that they're gonna hit something and damage it but I went ahead and left them on until today and I'm gonna show you why I'm taking them off and I'm sure and I'm gonna show you why 
I knew it was a bad idea from the beginning to leave those chains on if you're going to use something for this lifestyle. Let's take a look. So I'm down here to run an electrical and I see a big dimple in the gas tank. And I move this chain away and I see a big rub mark on the gas tank. And I look over at the other chain assembly and it sits a lot lower. So what's happened is something has hit this assembly just like I thought it would and bust it up into the gas tank. Now how long of a shelf life would you give these things if I left them on with a big old gouge like that in the gas tank? That's why if you have chains on your rig and you don't lift it, this is something that you're gonna have to take the risk of. In my case, I'm not taking the risk. You, uh, you know, your viol uh, mileage may vary, but uh, the chains are coming off. Peace. Here we, go. Here we are post smart. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna walk in with the camera, but this is gonna be our last visit. I bought this mailbox what's now maybe five or six weeks ago. I'm not really sure. And been using the heck out of that dumpster right there. So this is going to probably be our last visit. We're going to hope and see that our battery is in or whatever else has trickled in and say au revoir to Postmart. Let's check it out. <laughs> we just left Postmart and the battery was in. Woo! Robin Barnes comes through again and we got something from Steve from Alaska again. Steve we haven't opened from it yet. Steve from Alaska. What a guy. We are going to go to the gym and showers whatever and Evan is gonna meet us to drop the car off because we can't take this car back to where the schoolie is and have Tamara be able to drive both vehicles out so we're making arrangements so that when she gets up there thanks to Evan or Jamie this makes more sense why doesn't Evan just get in the car with us and then he could drive oh that makes total sense yeah yeah so we'll drop his car at my brother's house that makes way more sense because or all we somewhere. need is transportation. Anyway, we don't even have to drop it at my brother's house. We could drop it at the Smiths, uh, you know, or something outside of, like, down the hill. Well, yeah, but then you still got to get your car to your brother's, your brother's car that's to your brother's in Salt house. Lake, so. This is Salt Lake? Yeah, this, this car, car goes, goes to Salt, Salt Lake. Lake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you're right. We can just do it at someplace else. Yeah, we'll just, we could just meet Evan, like, down the hill and put, oh. But then I still have to get the car to my brother's. Well, I'll figure that out later. Right. I guess. I don't know. I think that that's better than having a car up in Salamander Flat. Yeah. So we want to get in the right hand lane so we can take a ride on state. Okay. As soon as we get a chance and we will be in the, at the gym in no time. And there's also a Harbor Freight there so I might grab some stuff. Sounds good. Answering, so I'll give you her phone number as soon as we get parked, so you okay. have it, and I then you guys can forward it. Okay, yeah. I'll make sure. Oh, I should put you on. Uh -huh. I'll make sure that you have it, and then that way, from moving forward, you guys can just coordinate getting the drapes. Yeah. But we'll put the problem. curtains in today. I'll put all the rods in today. Okay. You and I could do it if nothing else. That sounds good. And or me and Evan can do it, and you or whatever. Yeah. Uh -huh. he'll, be, he'll be here. <laughs> all right. Cool. I was just saying I hate my hair when it's clean. <laughs> just got out of Planet Fitness, took showers. That was my first shower, my first proper shower in probably about five or six days. And now we're gonna meet up with Evan, who is going to be uh, a uh, 
driver? <laughs> he's going to be a driver. I was trying to think of something else. He's going to be a uh, shuttle pivotal component in our car jockeying to make it so Tamara can drive her shuttle, her shuttle bus, her <laughs> schoolie out of the mountains without leaving a car behind. And we're just going to go meet up with him right now. It is kind of hot here. We're in, is this Salt Lake? Uh, this is West Jordan. Yeah, it's, a, it's basically Salt Lake. We're in the Salt Lake area. We're going to meet up with Evan and then drive up, get the battery in, button up some loose ends, and then the real fun stuff, passing over the keys. How are you feeling right now? Good. You feel like it's your birthday? Yes, definitely. <laughs> like right. the best birthday ever. All right, all right. <laughs> well, let's go find Evan. Here we are one day away from being finished with Tamara Schooley and everything's coming together really well. I was just running some LED lights on the inside aisles of the bus and there's so much going on in there that I'm kind of in the way or we're in each other's way. So I thought I'd grab the camera and show you around as to where we are with things so far. We're at about 6,000 feet elevation in the mountains of Utah. It's hot as I'm standing here holding the camera, it's hot. I'd say it's mm, 80 plus, maybe 85 degrees, but it's been really cool at night. And it looks like Larry is about to measure for the sink. We just got the cooktop installed. Things are really coming together and we're pushing for being done by maybe three or four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So it's kind of like crunch time. Let's get it all wrapped up. There's really not enough to do to belabor this over a longer period of time so we're going to have it uh, ready by tomorrow in the afternoon maybe three four o'clock do the final walk through for Tamara and pass the keys over give her the passing the keys ceremony let's take a look at where we're at so far Final touches. Let's see if we can get this thing done. 24 hours. <laughs> 